Hello and welcome to iGames613 and today as you can see on screen we have some breaking news and this is some pretty unfortunate news basically it all came from a message from a guy called Zach Halsnecht now he is a GTA player he likes to play on PC and he plays a little mod called LSPDFR which is kind of like a cop roleplay mod where you can play as a cop and you can do certain missions and stuff as a cop it's kind of cool and he's also part of a group called Code Zero now Code Zero I like to play on this thing called 5M and basically that's like five, uh, GTA 5 online with the um, thing where you can play with other people and it's one which allows you to use mods now it's totally separate from GTA Online so it is actually legal and it's fully proper and everything but uh, Zach here he says seriously take two well, I guess 5M is next. It has to be on the radar if they shut down single player modding utilities. And I thought, what the hell's going on here? I can see the OpenIV logo. What are you doing here? So I decided to click on that. And I find out it's more interesting than it actually came to me. Because I clicked on it, it links you to Twitter, which gives you this message here. And it says, OpenIV was dis this has come direct from OpenIV people. OpenIV was discontinued due to take two interactive requests. And it gives you like links and stuff to a uh, GTA page there. I'll actually um, go to that now, which will show you that it is a lot more upsetting than you'd think it would be. Because basically, I thought it would just be the GTA Libby C that they're adding into the game, because that was made by OpenIV team or Open4 team. And I thought that might have been discontinued up like that is kind of bad, but it's not the end of the world. Rockstar probably end up adding Liberty City to GTA 5 or 6 next or whatever. And even if you do a play, you can just go play GTA 4. It's fair enough, whatever. But um, no, basically what Rockstar or should I say Take 2 are trying to do is they're sending letters to modders and pretty much giving them cease and desist letters as you can see here it says on the 5th of june 2017 we had received an official cease and desist cease and desist letter it clearly states that with open iv we allow third parties to defeat security features of its software and to modify the software in violation with take two's rights and they did actually make a point of yes this letter is both illiterate and technically and grammar, grammar, uh, grammatically wrong but they don't seem to give two dams about actually proofreading stuff they also know that they could go to court and prove that it's actually not illegal and it's all fair use but they decided not to now I don't see why they have decided not to and this post is actually legit it's from an open IV lead developer as you can see here and it looks like a Russian one. Yeah, Russia there. So he's a lead developer, so he is actually talking truth. And he is actually well known on this actual forum anyway. But uh, yeah, it's pretty bad news. And if you don't un not understand him why it's bad news, as you can see, this is a goddamn joke and stuff like this. People just not actually accepting this is actually true. And basically, I don't think it's even a real letter they've received. It's probably a hoax letter that someone sent out to them if it's grammar grammatically incorrect and all the wording is actually has to put it down here that does not make sense whatsoever and I cannot see Rockstar or Take Two in this case sending out this letter to people to discontinue their mods now the things that do say it would be true is the fact that when you do actually load into GTA Online after the recent update you do actually get a message that pops up on screen saying hey welcome to GTA Online we hope you enjoy yourself and something along on the lines of if you decide to cheat we'll get you pretty much on that kind of line and I don't see why they would have to close down single player modding though because OpenIV it just allows you to look through the files I'm sure you guys may have seen me use it before in videos if not then you surely have seen someone else use it if you haven't then feel free to search for OpenIV um, file hunts or something. You should probably even find a video about me doing it. 
but basically it allows you to look through the files you can also change the files so like if you want to add a different texture to a certain vehicle or if you want to change the vehicle or add something into the game take something out of the game you can use this utility called open4 to actually do that and it was pretty good up until now but for whatever reason as you saw Zach's message say they want to discontinue it and there is no reason why they want that why they should need to discontinue it uh, personally, if I was Open4, or Open IV as I like to call it, I would actually fight this. I would actually reply to a letter and say, well, um, can you give me some proof it's actually you guys? Or just check on the letter as well, and um, we can actually find out if it actually is the proper place. And if they do send it to the proper place, they'll reply back and they'll come back saying, uh, no, we actually love your mod. Then all guns are blazing on these little twats that are sending out fake letters so hopefully it doesn't get discontinued and it's all a hoax that'd be kind of cool I uh, can pretty much say that I don't think Open Ivy would be lying about this they don't seem the types that would make up little jokey lies and I'm checking the date right now and it's definitely the 14th of June not the 1st of April because it definitely does sound like a um, Open Ivy no, no, perfectly. Just something not like an April Fool's joke. As you can see, posted three hours ago and updated two hours ago. So it is definitely very upsetting for people like myself who like to use this utility on a daily basis. And whilst we will still be able to actually use the downloaded ones we've already got, it will not be receiving any updates. I'm guessing. And when GTA 6 comes out, or Red Dead Redemption, if that does come to PC, that is, then um, we won't actually be able to use this utility because it won't be able to have the thing loaded in to actually allow us to use it. So it's all very unfortunate and, like I say, very, very sad to have to be dealing with. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you got this far in, thank you for listening so much. You are awesome. And yeah, do you think we should start a petition about this? If you want to spread this to all YouTubers, see if they want to start up a petition because they can get more signatures than a small channel like mine, then feel free to ask them to do it because I will definitely be signing that. And if they do actually go off to 5M and all these other GTA modding utilities and stuff, then um, I'm going to be pretty pissed. And one thing that, if they do actually go for that, by the way, it's going to be so, so, so stupid because um, the only reason why PC GTA sells is because you can mod it and it's amazing and people like having fun with it. You can add all these ramps in the sky, you can add all this kind of cool gear, make your own jetpacks, all this cool other stuff that people do, and it'll just be shit without that. And the only reason why people actually still playing GTA today is either one, they love online, two, they love mystery hunting, or three, they love playing people's mods. If it weren't for mystery hunting and GTA Online, then people would not be playing this game whatsoever. It is four years old this September, so there is absolutely just no reason. So anyway, I'm going to end this video off here. Thanks very much for watching, and goodbye.